What is up, everybody? This is your boy Q Dogs Truth coming in with a conscious woke video. And today I'm going to make this video real quick, but it's talking about Remedy H and some of his, his affiliates and what this brother then said on his group chat. So I'm going to make sure I put the camera down so y'all can read this shit. And I'm going to go over my opinions on what he said and what my thoughts are, are about the post that he made. So y'all can read. I'm just going to read this shit for you. So Rod Coleman, his, bro, his name is Brother Rod Coleman. He said, let me ask why we are chilling, cheering for the failure of our economy unless you got a way to feed everyone. We don't need a collapse, not with World, world War Three coming. Now, now I've heard of World War, world, world, world War Three, and everybody says that World War Three is going to be a spiritual battle, but I don't know. But let me keep reading this shit. So it says, so if you're making videos on that, it needs to stop. Instead, focus on taking control and changing directions to something we can all we all can benefit from. We need to generate money and fast. We need to stabilize, not fall apart. He says, you hate white folks, but you know damn well about the law of karma. We fucked up. Let's fix it. We've always had the power to fix ourselves if we just come together. Now he got now he got a point when he say that shit. We just need to come together and end this shit. But anyways, it says and fo and focus. If you're a builder, you you it says you know you don't demolish your house while while I still in it. I don't know if he's saying I still live in it. He said well. Is he, I don't know what the fuck he's saying, but he says, snap out of it. It says, your power is is in love, not bitterness. Besides, not all white people are bad. We have a few choice names. It says Soros, Bill Gates, Rothschilds, etc. They don't even live here. He says, smarten up. So, I halfway agree with the, stu with the stuff that brother uh, Rod Coleman is saying. I'm going to shout him out. But let me just say, let me just say this real quick. So he's, so he says, let me ask, why are we chilling for the fa failure of our economy? Let me just say this shit real quick. So for brother Rod Coleman, like I said, honestly, I would be cheering if this motherfucking system done fell. Cause think about it like this, this, this B system that we are living under has everybody oppressed, especially myself as an original being in this planet. Especially in America, America, KKK, the United States, the motherfucking corporation. I wouldn't give a fuck if this B system fell and was fucking destroyed. Honestly, I believe that we don't need a fucking government. We don't need motherfucking people or people or beings or fucking extraterrestrial beings telling us how the fuck we should, how, how the fuck we should live and how the fuck we should, you know, govern, go, govern. How, like you're saying, how the fuck that we should we shouldn't have niggas telling us what to do. We shouldn't have niggas telling us that we gotta work just to fucking survive. We shouldn't have niggas telling us that we gotta we gotta go to school. We gotta go we got we gotta go to work. We gotta pay fucking bills. We gotta pay taxes and all this other shit. Basically controlling and dictating our motherfucking lives. I don't give a shit if anybody gets mad, but nigga, I'm a fucking anarchist. I really am a fucking anarchist. I'm against this whole motherfucking government, the whole damn system. I, every, every, I believe every fucking government is corrupt in some certain way, fashion or fashion. You get what I'm saying? I believe we, the people, should have the ability to govern ourselves, nigga. We should, like I said, we shouldn't have niggas or, or the elites or powers that be telling us what the fuck to do with ourselves and telling us what the fuck to do with our motherfucking lives. You get what I'm saying? So, I wouldn't give a fuck if this system fell. I'd be, I'd be fucking happy. Like I said, if this system really fucking ends like all these conscious people are talking about, it'll be a sweet but a bitter end. Like I said, no more oppression, no none of that bullshit. At least we wouldn't have to worry about that bullshit. And I know this nigga's talking about... we. We, we, it says unless we have a way to feed everyone, you know what I'm saying. Let me see. Let me see what else he's saying. He's saying like we need to generate money and fast, bro, brother Rod Coleman. We don't need their motherfucking money, bro. You know what I'm saying. We should. We shouldn't have have to use money 
in order to buy food. We shouldn't have used m- m- money to get whatever the fuck we want, nigga. We don't, we don't need, we don't need their goddamn money. We've been programmed to think that we need money to do what the fuck we want, bro. But we don't need their damn money. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm sure you heard this motherfucking saying, money is the root of all evil, nigga. He even says it in the so-called good book, the Bible. You know what I'm saying? With, with this whole money and shit, nigga, we don't need money. You think back in the day, back in the day, before these so what, what before this whole goddamn system was created, and before these motherfuckers then colonized the whole goddamn world, you think that you think you think back in the day that the ancients was using fucking money? There there is no point of using the fucking money. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no point of using the fucking money. Everything should be fucking free. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, money fucking divides people, nigga. We don't need money. Fuck, fuck money. Fuck the system, period. Okay, so like I said, I halfway agree with the stuff you're saying, and halfway I don't agree with the stuff you're saying, brother, but I just wanted to shout you out and mention you in the comment, mention you here on YouTube. All right, y'all see I got my fucking locks put in and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna keep it real with y'all. So let me see what else he said. So we need survey and money fast as we need all about. And he says, and he said, and he says, you hate white folks, but you know damn well about the law. Karma says we fucked up. Let's fix it. So let me let me say one thing, bro. I need I need I need to mention this shit. Now I hundred percent agree with this shit. So in most of Remedy H's videos, he tries to make it seem that all Caucasian people, all Oriental people. And all Arab people, any, any 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 person that is not melanated or any person that is not organic to this planet, this brother Remy H tries to make it seem that all so-called white people, Oriental people, which which the the real definition is Oriental instead of Asian, and Arab people are all are, are all racist. They're all against the original beings of this planet. They all want all, all want to enslave us. That's what. Remedy H tries to make it seem, and I swear to God, bro, in some of Remedy H's videos, I've heard him, I swear to God, I've heard him say that all white people, all Caucasian people, all Asian people, um, all motherfucking Arab people need to be cursed, all of them need to die, all of them need to be cursed, because I swear to God, I've seen this nigga, bro, I've seen this nigga, bro, in one of his videos, he had a motherfucking... I don't know if it was like a big ass copper stick and then some big ass crystal and he, and, he, and he kept beating it on the motherfucking floor. He's talking about, we curse these inorganic beings. We curse every fucking white person, blah, 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 that they're going to die. They're going to do this. This is going to happen to them. And like I said, for some reason, Remy H, like I said, I need to call this nigga out. I'm going to call his ass out right now. But this nigga tries to make it seem that all white people are the enemy and Another thing I'm going to fucking talk about is I, I, I had an unfriended sister or sister R. That's all I'm going to tell her. This was on Facebook. Sister R, I had to unfriend her ass, bro, because I felt because she met because I was talking. I was asking people what 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 is the term um, black is dead in the eyes of the law mean? Because like I said, I have told you guys that black is dead in the eyes of the law. And I've talked about Sibius Mortius. And basically what she's commenting and saying, or she's tried to explain it to me the be- the best way she could. Then I remember at the end, she was talking about, it doesn't, it, 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 what, what, what you're talking about doesn't worry, doesn't matter. Because she's saying like, she, she, she was trying to put me in this shit. And I'm like, hold up, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm like, hell no, I ain't doing that shit that you want me to do. I'm not agreeing with that. But she's trying to say, it doesn't worry about what you're talking about is, it, 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 it is um it, it doesn't matter or she's saying that's irrelevant because she's saying like me you she's saying like you and me or, or he's like when, when this whole system falls she's saying like me you and me are gonna kill all white white people asian people and arab people or the inorganic beings she's talking like yeah she's saying like you and me and a rams and all these a rams dark and all these other niggas it's good she's she's trying to put me in this shit and i was like oh hell no you got you got me all the way fucked up you got me all the way fucked up, sister. But she tell me, it's like, yeah, you and me, we're, we're going to kill all white people, so it doesn't matter. I'm like, hold up. I, like I said, I don't care if Remedy H calls himself a cosmic prince. I don't care if this nigga calls himself Seema, a cosmic elder, but 
some, some, like I said, but some, some, some of my, some of my brothers and sisters done lost their goddamn minds. Period. Point blank, fucking simple. Some of you niggas done lost your goddamn minds thinking that you, that, like I said, let me say, let me say this. What, 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 what about the so-called inorganic beings that are not racist? What about the what? What about what about what about the so-called white people, Oriental people, Asians, Mexicans that are not racist? And what about the ones that don't support this system? What about the ones that are speaking out against the elites? What about the ones that are speaking out against this oppressive, fucked up system? You're saying that we should kill them too? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What like y'all niggas have lost your goddamn minds, bro? Talking about we should kill that we should kill all white people. You got me fucked up. You got me all the way fucked up, sister and brother. You got me all the way fucked up, and I'm and I'm and I'm, and I'm not trying to put it everybody. I'm not saying that all people who follow Remedy H um should, wants to see all white people getting killed. I'm not saying every person that follows Remedy H you get you get what I'm saying hates white people or has hatred against other races. Now I'm not trying to put every person that follows Rivi H in that box or that category. You get what I'm saying? But some of y'all niggas done lost your minds. And the motherfucking funny thing is, you really think you're gonna you really you really like like I like can say what what about what then the other thing when Sister Arden said we're gonna kill all white people? What what about what about my what about my friend? Like I said, I'll admit I have friends that are so called that are Caucasian that are oriental and that are Arab, or I have friends that, that are from other races that are not what you call melanated carbonated. Are you, are, I have a question for Remedy H and some of his, and some of his motherfucking affiliates. Are you, are you saying that I should kill my white friends too? Are you saying that I should kill my white friends? Are you saying that I should motherfucking kill anybody that's Asian or Arab or anybody that is not a so-called black person or original being this plant? Are you saying that I should kill them because they're not organic to this planet? Like, 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 y'all, some of y'all niggas are fucked up. Some of y'all niggas are fucked up, bro. Like, but, but don't worry. Y'all think, y'all thinking that you're going to get away with killing every white person. Y'all niggas thinking that you're going to get away with killing anybody that's not organic to this planet. I'm telling you, niggas, karma is going to bite you in the motherfucking ass. And don't worry. You're going to get a motherfucking reality check, bro. Don't worry, bro. Don't worry. For people like you that say that in the next few years that you're gonna that you're gonna act, when you activate when you get your abilities to fly and everything, you think you're gonna kill all white people? You think you're gonna kill anybody that's not organic to this plant? Every person that's organic to this plant, don't worry, bro. Y'all gonna get unfucking unfucking activated since y'all promoting this low vibrational. Shit, and since y'all niggas are promoting fucking division, I'm just gonna tell you this right now. I don't give a fuck if you get mad. Get mad at me, nigga, because I don't give a shit. But y'all niggas promoting this low vibrational shit and division, y'all y'all gonna y'all gonna get what y'all gonna y'all are gonna get what's coming to you, bro. I promise you, point blank and simple. And at least I give credit to Kala Amun Ra, and I give credit to Rashad Jamal. Even though I don't support the whole Rashad Jamal bullshit that's going on with him in jail and this other shit, at least the at least at least Kala Amun Ra and Rashad Jamal they talk their shit, but they're not talking about oh all white people, all Asian people, and all Arab people are the enemies. At least they're not talking about oh we need to kill all white people or Saxtons. Remedy H calls white people Saxtons. I don't know where the fuck or Caucasian people Saxons. I don't know where the fuck he getting that information from. But I need to do research on that to see to see the shit that he's saying is true. But my question is, I, like like I said, I'm I'm a mention uh, my home girl or Paris VR. Y'all go check the nigga out on YouTube, Paris VR, because most of the stuff that she was saying, I did when I first watched her videos, I really didn't understand what the fuck she was trying to say. She's saying like, then then she then she mentioned she mentioned people like Remy H, talking about. You, nigg- you you niggas are fucked up, bro. Talking about that we should be we should be we should be spreading love, nigga. Don't you think that we should be spreading love on this motherfucking planet? Like like think about like this. We should be spreading love on this motherfucking planet because this 
goddamn earth is already fucked up and low vibrational and y'all niggas still promoting like, oh yeah, we need to kill all white people and all this other shit. Man, get, get the fuck out of here. For real, just get the fuck out of here. What we really should be doing is we should be fighting the elites, nigga. The powers that be that want to have everybody oppressed. The powers that be or elites or the higher ups, whatever the fuck you want to call it. The shadow government that wants to have everybody oppressed. That wants to control the whole fucking world. That wants to bring in their new world order. The motherfucking transhumanism agenda and all these other agendas to fuck humanity up, to, 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 to fucking control humanity and to control the motherfucking masses. Aren't those the people that we should be fucking going after? L- let me just say this. I don't care if you niggas want to kill other races or I don't care if you niggas want to, let's say, kill so-called white people that are that support the powers that be or that support racism and all this other shit. I don't give a fuck if you take them out. But to say that all white people are, are the bad or, or or are the enemy, the fuck is wrong with you? Like, y'all, but, but don't worry, y'all niggas are going to get a reality check. Remedy H, you gonna get a reality check too? <laughs> you best, you best believe that, nigga. You gonna get a motherfucking reality check, real motherfucking soon, bro. And I can't believe you niggas are gonna, you niggas are. Or, or thinking that you're gonna get away with it, bro. Cause like I said, I like I said, like I said, the shit that y'all talking about is fucked up. Talking about killing, let's kill all white people and all Asian and Arab people. If and I know, I I feel like some of you niggas really don't have souls, and some of you niggas don't really have empathy. That's what I'm really starting to think that some of you niggas are soulless. Some of you, I have a feeling that some of you niggas are. Don't have fucking empathy for anybody at all. And some of you niggas don't have fucking souls. I really fucking mean that. <laughs> point blank, sim- point blank and simple. Nigga, I really believe that shit, bro. Because y'all got me fucked up. So I just had to talk about this shit, bro. For real, dude. But it's kind of like, if, like I said, I, I, like I, said, I already know. I, I, at least I have a fucking conscience. I have a f- conscience. And if... I try to do some bullshit like that. I would feel fucking guilty, nigga. I'd already have a guilty fucking conscience. And I know something like, ki- ki- let's say, kill promoting, let's say, killing all white people is fucking wrong, bro. Or, I guess I would have a guilty fucking conscience, bro. And like I said, I already know that that's fucking wrong, dude. 